Yo, what's going on? And welcome back to some more Dungeon Drafters. In the last one, we went back to the Lost Wreckage and we cleared a Floor 3. Um, I did say last time that we would probably try and go to a Floor 4 today, but I was kind of thinking about it. And looking at our quests, I feel like this guy, the bartender dude, is kind of the guy who like gives you what your general quest is. So I kind of feel like maybe we should go explore the tower for the first time. Um, also looking at it, I don't know what's going on here. I thought we completed the Traveler's stuff last time. Um, so I'm going to go back up to him real quick and see what's going on there. Um, but then we'll just go ahead and get started. Did we like complete two quests or something? Here's your reward. Oh. Last time he gave me um, that curio, which we still have the curio, but I guess that wasn't actually the completion for the quest. So that was a little bit weird. Are any of these like crazy good? Fire cardinal shots and inflict one damage. If you hit three people, you gain one AP. Wait, so can you gain, like, a ridiculous amount of AP with this card? Like, if you hit three people all with full health, does it give you four AP and cost zero? Actually, looking at it, because it says haste two, you might only be able to get two AP out of it. Like, you can only trigger each of these once. That's That would be my guess. So that card seems pretty good, but obviously... We'd have to get rid of all of our red cards right now, and I don't think we have enough crazy green cards quite yet. Whereas I feel like we have a lot of, like, medium red cards that are pretty good for us still. Like, this is pretty good as well. Gain stealth. If there are no enemies nearby, gain three stealth. There's a lot of pretty good green cards. I just don't think we have enough of them quite yet. But we'll probably switch over to that soon. Anyways. So he didn't... I don't really know how to reset their quests if, like... Because a lot of times you have to go... You have to go into a dungeon, come back, and then they... They will give you a new quest or whatever. I wonder if that works. Just going into, like, the training area? Yes, okay. You need to get 9 AP in a given turn of battle. <laughs> Also, you need to act three times in the same AP at least once. Okay. I don't think I can do that at the moment with our current cards. I would have to switch over to more green cards, I think. So maybe we won't go for that right now. I can do the act three times in a single AP with just the shurikens. Probably, assuming there's enough enemies for me to hit with full health. Anyways, so I wanted to try the tower. I believe he said we had to go to floor 10. It's weird because here, when I look at the, pet, uh, the quest, it just says explore the tower and return, but I'm pretty sure he said go to floor 10. We're gonna try it. I don't know how hard the floors are because there's a lot of floors, right? Like the other missions go only go up to four floors, so I kind of expect these floors to be really short. What the heck's going on? Why are we... I'm gonna break stuff in here. Everything's very breakable. Okay. 
I assume we have to step on this elevator thing. What is this? Like a one, two, three, four? Maybe once you go get far enough, you can teleport to certain parts of the dungeon? Okay, so it seems like we just immediately go to floor two? kind of looks like... I wonder if each floor is going to be themed after the other dungeons, because like this one you can see has ice. So is there going to be glacial? Is this going to be themed after the glacial area? Although... The enemies seem to be from wherever. So this is from the ocean and this is from the dune. Not really sure how I'm supposed to handle this. I guess I could hook. So I don't have my healing anymore. Because <clears throat> we switched curios. Oh, you start with zero charges of this, though. Ah. Hold up. It says dash, jump, zip, or teleport. Are you telling me that a hook because it pulls the caster does not count? I'm gonna be really mad if that doesn't count because that's just poor game design at that point. How is this not a dash, right? That's just like adding a random, like why does the hook say pull? There's no reason for it to say pull. It's the it's the exact same as a dash. Especially because I think you hit traps that are on the ground, right? So it's the literally the exact same. I would reserve push and pull exclusively for when you're interacting with an enemy, right? Um, if you're moving an enemy, that would be a push or a pull. If you're moving yourself, that's not a push or a pull. I'm going to be really mad if this doesn't work, but this is my only play here. Yeah, it does not work, so... That, in my opinion, is very poor game design. <laughs> like, literally, why did you make that card with that keyword? It's just like you wanted to make that card worse for no reason? I don't understand. It just seems arbitrary and stupid. What am I going to do? do this. Not that useful. Could go up and cast this? Why doesn't it show me your health bar? Oh right, he hurts himself. I totally forgot about that. Now we have this. I don't have... Oh. I was gonna say he doesn't have full health, not I don't have full health. You're putting a trap down, huh? I could just do that and that would just kill him immediately. Honestly. Try and kill this guy next turn. Oh, we might have a problem here, huh? I gotta use the fireball here, otherwise I'm gonna take damage. So... We're not allowed to let ourselves take damage as much anymore because, like I said, we don't have healing anymore. We still have the healing shrines, but we no longer heal 1 HP every room. Ah, it's been a while since we've seen some of these enemies. Yeah, I can't believe that doesn't work. That's so stupid and annoying. 
Uh, this is weird. Do this. Hello. I could shuriken. Wait. <laughs> You're telling me the cannon counts as a dash, though? Come on. Pole doesn't count as a dash, but stepping into the cannon counts as a dash. I wonder if I could just arm recharges off of this room. Can I just, after combat, step in the cannon multiple times? See, the cannon should be a push, right? Because it's something that's interacting with my character. Me doing an action should not be a push or a pull. It's just stupid and illogical. Um, this should be a free kill, right? Wait, hold up. So I could go boop, 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 but then I don't get another cast because this guy only has... If I could hit this guy, if this guy was here, I could kill them both. This is still a good play, though. Did that count, out of curiosity, to the use multiple actions in the same AP? No. So recasting does not count for that. <clears throat> I guess I just kill you and then we deal with the jellyfish. Okay. I could have been bad if it threw us left, because then I wouldn't be able to get to the jellyfish, but this is fine. Okay, so we save the crystal for healing later. Wait, what? Why did this just charge? <clears throat> Something about this room is, like, bugged. For some reason, just walking counted as charging in this room? Oh. Not really sure. Anyways. I haven't seen any chasms in... Well, I guess we go up in the tower, right? So chasms wouldn't help us. This is a bullseye, so we should probably do that. Should I use the bolt smite? My right, bolt smite's really good, but like I don't have a different way to not take damage from this guy. I think I just bolt smite him. We're gonna rely a lot more heavily on not taking damage now, so. Oh, this is a reflector. Redirect shots and dashes. Oh, but, um. The hook gets redirected even though it's not a dash. Or a shot. Oh, I guess it's a shot. Alright, fine. You got me on that one. <laughs> I'm just gonna be forever mad about that now. Ooh, we got crystals. Very far apart and no line of sight here. Hmm, I'm not sure how we're gonna actually pop both of those crystals. Without getting either gamma or beta first. Could use jump, but it's only gonna go one, two, one, two. Hook and then like quake. That takes four actions though, because you gotta hit, hook, down, quake. The reason that I'm doing it like this is because I don't 
I want to know what cards I need to save. Oh, is this curio per room, though? Or how does that work? I need to pay attention to the curio a little bit more. I think we gotta do this to start out with. I might have to do it while there's enemies, huh? But I should have just walked up to him and let him hit me, I guess. Although, that wouldn't have worked because I can't throw the shuriken point blank. I also don't know if hitting the crystals counts as initiative or not. they don't have a health bar, so I assume no. Also, this plant is destructible, so we only have one chance to hook to it. I don't really know the best way to do this. What I needed was to be like here. So there is a chasm. I guess you just fall down to the lower floor though. If I had been here to start the turn, this guy would have hit me. But then I could have thrown a shuriken, teleported, taken a step, attacked, jumped backwards. I don't know if there's an easy way for me to do this without drawing gamma or beta burst. Oh, maybe if we deal with this icicle, though? I didn't notice there was a path down here. I actually got an idea. If you start in that corner, hook... Like, hit, hook, quake. That should work, actually. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's making stuff. That guy's just moving. Guess I'll just move next to you. <laughs> you guys explode, right? So I don't know how often, it looks like we're almost at the stair room. Stair room usually has healing. Yeah, I didn't, I thought these were walls for some reason. I didn't realize they were chasms. Oh, there's a cannon there too. Ooh, actually the cannon makes it more difficult. Because how am I supposed to, I can't stand in this corner then. Maybe I could hit, jump, jump, hook? That would probably work. So am I taking one damage here then? I think I have to take the one damage. I don't see a good way to avoid it unless I go back back. jump over him, but I don't think I could because the plant would be in my way. So if I go hit, hit, go, 
then dodge this guy's move. I don't know where he's gonna teleport to. How does this work? It seems to charge every time I take a movement. So does it only draw? It uses all the charges to draw. Yeah, I don't need both hooks. So yes, movement charges it. But for some reason, the hook does not charge it. So a uh, movement counts as a dash, but... Let's see if we can figure out a way to do this. If I had an AoE, I could do it without. Okay, so if I go hit... Target position, then jump to a second target position. And then a hook. Got it. Let's look at that box. Why was it all shiny? We're getting. Tower packs. Have we gotten tower packs before? Yes, but I these seem to be more rare. What does this do? Restore all that came before. I don't really want to do redo this floor. I kinda wanna get a move on. Oh, there's no healing in the tower. Okay, I guess it's good to learn that early. Maybe certain floors will have healing. So we haven't seen any healing at all in the tower yet. <clears throat> oh, last floor had that crystal though. I should have gone back for that crystal. It would have healed me up. We're only missing one health, so it's not the end of the world, but... I do this? I can. I don't want to be next to this thing. I kind of just feel like I dodge what this guy's doing. Ah, but if I dodge it, then he'll have me locked in a corner and I can't stop from taking damage then. I think I just kill him, even though I don't get the precision. Wait, why did I just heal? A soothing hot spring tile. Okay. That's interesting. There's a lot of these tiles in this room. So I had to waste one of them. And I'm gonna have to waste... Well, the first one wasn't a waste, but either way, one of them is a waste. But I can come back to this room and heal off of it. Oh, the dummy. So for the dummy, you're supposed to take all of his health in one turn. I could do that with these two cards. Let's 
So that means I probably just go ham with uh, shurikens here. Get in his face. Oh, he trapped his. Oh, but that guy moves him. I forgot about that part. What does this do? Right. I went down one, waked, and then used bombing jump on this guy. That would be really good, but I'd take one damage, but I could just go back to the healing room. What do we got going on here? Why is... I don't know what's locked. Oh, the dummy's locking that. There's no way for me to deal with this guy. Without. Well, there's no good way for me to deal with him. Like, I could start kiting. But, like, I feel like... Hmm. I'm just debating because I could deal with this room very quickly if I just quake right now. But it's gonna become annoying if I don't just quake right now. I gotta just quake. Problem is, this guy is going to live. Oh, I forgot about the crab. Doesn't count as a kill. Oh, so the crate when it moves doesn't take damage. I wonder what happens if you step on this. Might launch and stun a unit that ends its turn on the position. Ah, uh, yes, the ice block. I don't know. Oh, this is the stair room. Oh, there is healing. Okay, so there's sometimes healing, or maybe like every third floor or something like that. Uh, we will probably reshuffle our deck, but let's go to the chest room first. So we did unlock it after all. What is this? Mana as protection magic. Why would that be in a treasure room? Can't do anything with it anyways. Okay, so that just reshuffles our deck. We have full health, so... We don't even really need this stuff. How are we doing on rewards? Lots of tower packs, not very much money yet. So far, the floors have been very, very short, right?
We're gonna try and get to 10 and then probably just look to leave. careful of those because we don't want to fall back down. I don't know if floors reset if you fall back down to them. I don't think I just sneak. Oh, he just explodes on his own? Right, you gain retaliate. I forgot about that. wait for his retaliate to go away. Ooh, we were close there. Did I have any source of indirect damage? I don't think so. Okay, so does the curio go from room to room is what I need to figure out now. does. That thing only has one health. How the heck? He's at like such an angle where I can't really get to him. could jump. The best play is this. Teleport here. Okay, that was really good. And we got a healing thing in this room now. We have a lot of cards now. This Curio, because that we at least have it fully charged for the start of a room, it means we're drawing at least one card per room, which is actually pretty useful. What am I doing here? What do you do? Summon a Golem. If I jump, jump. Or I could jump, jump. But then I'm definitely in the wasp's radius. I'm trying to figure out a, a way to make bullseye work to kill that guy. Could also just kill the wasp immediately. Problem is, I'd have to break these bones. Break the bones, throw another shuriken, teleport here, and then do this. Is there a limit to how many cards I can have in my hand? We haven't really had this problem before, but now with precision and these new gloves, it's something that can actually happen where we just have a lot of cards. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, well, it's above 10, so that tells me maybe we can't have... We'll see, I guess. We're getting close to where you'd think that we wouldn't be able to have more cards, so... Drew another card. Where do I need to be? 1, 2, 3, 4. I need to be here. Not really possible. How can I break the dummy? That's earth magic. 
One, two, three, four, five. I could shoot it with bullseye and then hook to it for a kill. So I want I want to keep bullseye and hook then or one hook. What are you doing? It seems like I just want to stealth here. Problem is, is this square is kind of, I don't want to end my turn on that square. Well, I guess it only breaks if you move off of it. Okay, here's a thing. this and he's summoning a wasp I could jump fury swipes can I just stop there oh no I have to jump again oh but if I could I could do mini jumps Is there any way to use the Fury Swipes to break this thing? I don't think so. What the heck? Mummy... Mummified remains of an ancient warrior will defend the mausoleum. Okay, well luckily for me, I use Fury Swipes, so I'm just gonna kill you. Oh, there is a cannon here. I didn't even see the cannon. That might have been useful for clearing the room. Ah. Okay. We got three AP. We just do this. And then hook. That does damage to me, right? I don't want to hit that one, I'm pretty sure. And then you're a healing shrine. I guess I could hit it because there's a healing shrine. Maybe I will. It does not deal damage. Oh, but it gets rid of all my cards. That's a problem. Okay, I obviously should not have done that. That was a big mistake. I forgot that it stuns. It's been so long since we've seen that. Oh, but we're at the end. But we have no way to redraw our cards yet. That was pretty bad. That has potential to get us killed for no reason. Luckily, the card that we drew is pretty decent. Oh, we get a full hand. Never mind, we're fine. Okay, so that thing is gonna hit the mushroom. We do have a healing thing here. Right, you're very annoying. But you're not gonna move this turn. I can't hit the same tile, can I? This would be a really good time for Alpha Burst. One, two. We could only get that to deal two damage. Okay. 
I think the fungus is only directly around it. This only works on initiative. You have seven health. We get three from this. One from that. There's no way for me to actually proc precision here, which is a little bit annoying, I think. It deals two damage. And I only have things that deal one or three. <laughs> oh, I guess I could take a step forward after bolt smiting. So I just go here. Oh, I can't do it this turn, though. I wait one turn. What? You move? I thought he had to do his attack. Oh my god. Well. Our only choice seems to be to double bolts my you. Remember when we had too many cards in our hand and then I stunned myself and messed it all up? Okay, you summon a golem, you summon a golem. How do I make this suck less for me? One, two, three. I break the icicle step there, I could kill him turn one. Seems like my best play. That is a tanky golem. What do you do? You're annoying. I think I just gotta try and chase this guy at the moment. Are you flying? Yes. I can get in range to backstab him. Oh, he's so far away. Now I can't backstab him either. This is stupid. I can't get to him. How, why did he get to teleport so far? That was so annoying. That's gonna deal one damage to me. Was there healing on this floor? I think that was last floor. I'm one AP short of being able to kill him this turn. And then I'll get lured as well. There's just, it's literally no point in hitting this guy, because he's got two health bars and way too much health. If I had a shuriken, I could do it, but I do not. Maybe I shouldn't have wasted the 
Although I wouldn't have been able to kill him very effectively. Oh, I forgot about these. I wasn't even looking at that. I think these are like turn counters, right? If too many turns pass, then this locks, so you can't get the chest. Or maybe it was already locked, it just doesn't open. Something like that, I don't know. What the heck is this thing? Explodes in a violent frost wave when hit. Okay. And then we got these dice. Do I have a way to get to all the dice? This guy just... Ooh, I made a mistake. But... I should have gone up here. Oh, no, nope, that wouldn't have been safe either. I don't have stealth or anything to help me here. card that wants to be discarded? I don't think so. That doesn't mean I can't do it anyways. She has a wound on her. Do you like explode or something when you die? I don't think you do. This just kills both of you. That's probably the play. So you have to get all the way over there and then there, huh? to be in order. Uh, I need at least one hook. I think I've used up all my hooks, right? Yes. Or maybe I have one hook left, actually. Yeah, I have one hook left. Oops. Three of these. But then how would I get here? Maybe with this leap? The thing is, it gives you one AP, so would that make it so I couldn't actually end on this square? I guess I could just end my turn. So I need a hook and the leap, and then I could do this room. is going on here. Everything gets stealth? That seems unfair. Let's start with this. I could do this, though. guy's gonna regenerate, which is a little bit annoying. I 
Like, okay, go down. Do this, do this. That's a nice card to, like, get three damage out of a turn. There's the hook that we need for the other room. I would like the hook for this room, but I don't think that's viable. What are you doing? You're just attacking the air, right? So I could just go up and kill you. We're getting a lot of draws off the curio right now. Ah. Doesn't help me right now. Chalth, you're still at full health. Do I have anything that can hit you from here? I guess I could take a step forward, whirlwind you, and take a step back. Okay, so on that move, she doesn't actually go anywhere. I wonder if I could use this in the dice room. I could precision her right now as well, but there's no need to. go check out the angles here. Does this work? It does. Do I have any discard synergy? Don't think so. I have a lot of really good cards. What do I discard? Probably this. end my turn? No, wait, no, I did end my turn. Okay, okay. That was weird. Or this. There we go. So it doesn't show the ending your turn a bar come up, but it still works. Okay, do not hit that Chris. Uh, reshuffling is probably a good thing right now. So that big leap is actually really good. Grounded units that step on it. The trap will disarm and rearm in a set rhythm. I don't know if it's currently armed or not. This room should, in theory, be easy. I don't know how far this guy can walk. I don't, I guess there's no reason to use Gamma Star right now. Oh, I didn't think he would just break the health crystal. I kind of wanted that. He's on the trap. I think my best move is... I could either use backstab or bombing jump. 
I can use backstab because I have two of them. I was kind of scared the trap might go off there. But I wanted the money. Okay, here's the end of another floor. This one has health again. Might as well just reshuffle the one card, get health. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Um, now would be a good time to end this episode. Because we're about halfway through the tower and we're at more of a reasonable time than what we've been doing um so why don't we do that because otherwise we're just gonna have multiple two hour episodes and i don't really want them to be two hours anymore so we're gonna take a pause here i am obviously going to continue from right here but you'll see me in the next video starting from here we're trying to get to floor 10 of the tower so we can tell the story to the bartender dude um but anyways hopefully you enjoyed this one so far um, and look forward to finishing up that quest of the tower in the next one, hopefully. Um, otherwise I'll be pretty disappointed if we can't at least get to floor 10. Floor 10 is apparently where it gets hard, that's what the thingamajig said. Although, I haven't seen a way to leave yet. So maybe it is only specifically on floor 10 where you can leave? Um, but we'll see. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed so far, and I will see you next time.